It's time to play bandmates. You okay. two, you two have uh, now. How long have you two known each other? Like 20? 20, 20 years. Twenty At years. Least Twenty years. Twenty years. Here more, we go. More. Um, the first question is: uh, What is Davy's least favorite city to visit? Now, Davy. Yes. Before I give the answer, um, oh no, I guess I guess in this game you you would give the answer and then uh, you respond, right? He says. It's uh, someplace in Germany. <laughs> yes. Ham- <laughs> Hamburg. Is that right? Um, it's actually any place in Germany. Yes. That's oh, that's what what I, that's what <laughs> I was going to say. The first answer is correct. Any, any, any German city. A- anywhere in Germany. Why is that? Not a fan. Um, I, c- I can't really eat in Germany. It's very difficult to eat being a vegan no, in Germany. I see. I see. I very much like to communicate um, with people. When I'm when I'm in their country and their city, and certainly to no fault of Germany, I do not speak German. I, I wish I did. I truly wish I did. I could say I'm a monkey in German, <laughs> um, or I am a rabbit. Um, but that doesn't get you too far. And the next thing you know, they're either serving you monkey or serving you rabbit. And you're like, right. no, no, that's no, not no, where yeah, I was that's going not with what this. I said. Nine Fleischer. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, it's just not it's just not for me, which is ironic because I um, I love music. From Germany. A lot of German music that I love. All right. And the same question now. Yes. What is Adam's least favorite city to visit? And, Davey, you put Detroit. Yeah. That's right. Why yeah. Why do you hate Detroit so much? <laughs> um, That's where my ex-girlfriend is. <laughs> uh, you know, despite the fact that Detroit has a you know rich musical um, history and heritage, um, it's just kind of a shell of a city. Um I think the people who live there will probably agree. No, you're right. That's you're yeah. right. There's been a lot of stories over the last couple of years about that. It's it's one of those cities. It's one of those downtowns where people only go there to work, and nobody has a job anymore. <laughs> so it's like, you know. so it's just depressing. You go into Detroit, you just you just leave it's, there feeling drained and yeah, drag. Yeah. Okay. Although you know it is kind of cool just from a sort of post-apocalyptic <laughs> yeah. like like they're filming uh, currently filming um, a, a remake of the movie Red Dawn. Oh, in Detroit, because it's out. the most yeah. burnt-out city you could find, and I'm sure that they... You know, oh, you guys got to get on that soundtrack. Oh, yeah, you're right. That would be cool. <laughs> Seriously, that's got to be one of my top ten favorite movies you know, from cool. my child, if not top five favorite movies of my child. How do you feel about Tron? Um, I, I don't know. Didn't I, care I, in the first place, or...? Well, no, no. I, of course, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. I, I liked it in the first place, and yeah. I saw and I've seen the trailer in 3D, and it does look very cool. But I'm not quite sure. Me neither. Yeah. So did I'm, you go, did you guys see Alice in Wonderland? That's yet? where I saw the preview. Yeah, and and I enjoyed Alice in Wonderland. Amazing. I was surprised because my expectations were honestly very low. Yep. Um, which was informed a lot by the reviews that my friends were giving it, and um, it was fun. Five minutes into Alice in Wonderland, I went, "Who who conceptualized this? I this 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 stuff that I'm watching." Where did this come from? I just thought it was so amazing. Burton. Wonderful all right. mind of Burton. Here we go. Next one. Who is currently Davy's favorite artist or band? Not of all time, but just who are you digging right now? And Adam says, Hot Chip. Oh. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say? Who are you digging on say, right now? I would say to, to, to answer that question, what I'm most excited about and have been most recently is the Fever Ray record. Uh, is uh, is Fever Ray? Though I haven't stopped listening to the new Hot Chip since I got it. Adam, how could you get that wrong? Well, I, you're still so, you're supposed so, to yeah. so still, it's still not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> like if the question were, what was I listening to yesterday? It wasn't Fever Ray. It was Hot Chip. All right. Who is uh, currently Adam's favorite artist or band? And Davey, you put Girls. Yeah, that's uh, that's true. <laughs> you guys know each other too well. This is not like the newlywed game when these people keep getting it wrong and they yeah. throw stuff at it. You guys yeah. actually do know each other. Yeah. Here we go. Although I could, we could be just lying. We could be just agreeing. <laughs> just agreeing. Everything. I know so you should have you us. Should... You should have have. Okay, so watch. You have... Okay. <clears throat> what, according to Davey, was the best day for AFI as a band? Okay, so then I will say you don't tell me. Okay, I will tell says, you. Now. And I'm actually with well, the answer that I put for him is what I also. Th- I th- feel that we share this response, which is the day that we reunited. Oh, we finally got uh, a good one. Oh, uh, wrong, huh? <laughs> uh, certainly, pr- actually, probably the most important day. Right. Um, but, but, sorry, now do I say what I... Now, but Adam put? Okay. Um, I put sort of recent history, uh, oh. the Jane's Addiction oh, show yes. in Perth. Yes. Where both Davey and I performed with Jane's Addiction. Wow. Wow. Both fair, yeah. right? Yeah, very, very huge. And yeah. then what, according to Adam, was the best day for AFI as a band, which, which you already said, and was the day that you guys reunited. 
So uh, when, when was that? When did AFI take a break? We broke up um, after Adam and Mark and I graduated from high school in 1993. And uh, our bass player Jeff moved to New Jersey and joined Blank 77. And uh, I moved to Berkeley, Adam moved to Santa Cruz, and Mark moved to Southern California. And we uh, played a reunion show at the behest of some of the local kids in Petaluma where we used to play, um, which was very strange for us because no one cared in the first place. They said, yo, you have to play a reunion show. I said, are you serious? No one cares. What are you talking about? Like, no one cares about our band. And what year was this? 1993. Okay. <clears throat> Because at that point, I mean, we had just been playing, you know, the Phoenix, and you know, locally, I think we had played, uh, we had played Oakland uh, as well, but n no one really cared about AFI. And and this guy who was in a band called uh, Milk Toast said, "No, no, after you guys broke up, everyone bought your seven inches out of the record store. You gotta do a reunion." So we asked Dead and Gone if they would play with us, and we played a reunion show, and about two hundred people came, and it. Might as well have been two hundred thousand for us. Yeah, and they were all singing along. Because you was, were expecting twelve. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, and and two hundred. We'd have been happy with twelve. Yeah, we would have been happy with twelve. <laughs> so and everyone was singing along, which was amazing. And um, we decided to, uh, with the encouragement of the owner of the Phoenix Theater and uh, the guys in Den Gone, remain playing music, and we we got back together after being broken up for a, a whole six months. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next up then on the uh, bandmate game with AFI in the studio, Davey and Adam. What would Adam be doing if you guys weren't in a band? Man, I don't know. That's a tough one. <laughs> if if you weren't if you weren't drumming for AFI, I went with, I went with what you'd like to be doing. Uh, hey, you can't help him. No <laughs> genius. <laughs> Shit. I would be I would be a uh, professional cyclist. Ladies and gentlemen, wow. Davy goes with probably living in Spain somewhere. Uh, Davy goes with cycling yes. is what he would be doing now. Back the other way. What would Davey be doing if you guys weren't in a band? Davey, now, what would you be doing besides making shirts? <clears throat> besides besides making shirts, presuming that you also went with the what I'd like to be doing, not necessarily able to be doing. Oh, you didn't. Did you? Mm -hmm. you, did you no go? eye contact. Uh, no eye contact. Keep keep your eyes uh, going forward. Okay, here. I'll just, it's I'll, kind of one and the same. Acting. And Adam goes with? Uh, I said you'd be an author. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. No, it's not one of those things when you throw your tea on them. No. Although oh. you know, I should have thought of that because that's that that is you know, that is something that you mention a lot. I, I either way, it's true. Oh. I don't mention I don't mention wanting to be an author no, as but much, but mentioned... being a dear friend of mine, he knows that I I do very much enjoy writing and and would love to um, pursue that. All right. And lastly, what song does Davy never want to play again? Dancing through Sunday. Mm. Mm. Uh, <laughs> this is where it's going to get good. Yeah. You went with? I said love is many splendid things. Uh, they sure. Think? Only because you, you mentioned that the other day, <laughs> that it started as a, sort of a joke. Yes. Us, and then, so that, that was on my mind. Is that what it was? Now, uh, what is it about the other song that you, uh, you just, you're just done with? Just over it. Um, Are there songs from your early career that you go, yeah, you know, those things made sense and they were right oh, for us yeah. then? Oh, yeah, You know, them. I don't want to play them anymore <clears> because <throat> I just don't. I'm just not in the same place. Yeah, all of them. Most of them. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, pretty much every one of them. All right. <laughs> and which song does Adam never want to play again? Mm, Dancing Through Sunday or Kill Caustic. <laughs> Davey puts Kill Caustic. All right. Why Kill Caustic? Um, I don't dislike the song at all. Mm -hmm. But it's just been a staple in our set for the last uh, five years, and it just takes a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> and it always comes early in the set before I'm really loose, and it just seems like I can never play it fast enough for everyone to be happy, and I just everything in my body is telling me to play it slower. <laughs> yeah. It just really comes at the wrong time every day. Yeah. <laughs> but well, you, you guys don't play Dancing Through Sunday anymore, do you? Since oh, God. We've every, every, played it every night since 2002. Is that uh, because it's a song that is such a crowd favorite? Don't is ask it... me why. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think I think it's a crowd favorite. Do you want us not to like the song anymore? Because we'll stop. <laughs> okay. Yes. It, yes. That'd be great. It, it has a blazing guitar solo in the middle that I think people like, and you know. Maybe just give him the solo. Maybe just give yeah. come out and give him the solo. Yeah. <laughs>